Hello all, today we are going to discuss about DB scan. DB scan is a density based clustering method. So, in DB scan, we are doing the clustering based on the density such as density connected points or based on the explicit constructed density functions. Some of the major features of DB scan is as follows DB scan can discover clusters of arbitrary shape, it can handle noise. It is a one scan method that means that each of the example or the instance will be scanned once and need density parameters that we will see in the next slide. There are seven interesting studies that has happened on DV scan, some of them listed here. Before we are going to discuss about the DV scan algorithm, we need to first discuss about the four terminology that we are going to use here. First one is the density. Density is the nothing but the number of points within a specified radius r that we call radius. A point is a core point if it has more than a specified number of mean points within an epsilon. That means that now you can see so there are two different parameters that we need to give to this the algorithm. These are r and the mean points, right? And a border point has a fewer than mean points within epsilon but is in the neighborhood of the core point and a noise is any point that is not a core point or a border point. In the next slide we will see all these definitions in an example. So here you can see uh, there are many points and we need to find if point is a core point, border point or a noise point. Code point. Here we used the radius r equal to 1 and the mean point equal to 4. Now, if we just draw a circle with respect to this point, we saw that inside the circle we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 points which is greater than the mean points. And here you can see uh, then we should call it as a code point, right? Because it has more than specified number of mean points. So it has six points which is more than the mean points. Now coming to this point, if I if we just draw a circle, we can see inside the circle there are only three uh, instances with respect to this point. So but the mean point is four, so three is less than four. That means that it cannot be a core point, right? But it can be a border point or a noise point. Now it is a border point because one of these exa instances that was inside this circuit is a core point. Then we call this point as a border. Now if we just put this example and draw a radius, draw a circle with radius r, we can see there are two points set. Right? which is inside the circle that means that it is less than mean point so it cannot be a core point but these two points are not core points so this is not a border point also so we call this point as a noise point now so here we will see the db scan algorithm with an example the algorithm is given below for each point belongs to all the points, means for each O belongs to D, if O small o is not yet classified, that means that we didn't give that point is a core point or not, then if O small o is a core point, then collect all the object density reachable from O and assign them to a new cluster, else assign O small o to a noise. For an example. Here we use the epsilon equal to 2 cm and minimum points equal to 3. Let's say for this example we draw a circle with a, uh, r equal to 2 cm and we saw that inside that there are 3 which is less, uh, greater than equal to the minimum points, right? So what we can do this will be our code point and we will add all these 3 inside this cluster, right? And we will do all the points and we can see this. All point only belongs to a same cluster. Same thing we'll do here. We'll do, and we can find that okay, uh, there is nothing. So this is not, is not a cold point. So assign as a noise point. 
same thing we will do here and we will find this the cluster now here you can see this is the origin data set that we have right here you can see if there is no clustering algorithm this is one cluster and this is one cluster this is one cluster and this is one this is right now here we used epsilon or r equal to 10 and mean for its pts or minimum points equal to 4 and you can see all the core point border point and also the noise and if we just the algorithm db scan we can find these are the different cluster that we will get right so what are the advantage of using db scan it can resist it to noise that means that here you can see these are the noise right but it is what it does is it excluded those points from the cluster which is very good. it can handle cluster of different shape and sizes as you can see here this is a uh, shape like u and this is shape like one or something that means that it, this shape is completely different from this one and db scan is able to find it now these are the good thing about db scan but yes there are some mods also available for db scan so let's say this is the original data here we can see this should be one cluster this should be one cluster this should be one this should be one this should be one right but we used many different uh, parameters with that but we are not able to find the good cluster right and the problem is that db scan does not work well with varying density right so here you can say the density is very low whereas here the density is very high so if in a single uh, data set if we have example where some of them have very less density some of them have very good density then it is very it is not good to use db scan and for high dimension data also it doesn't work nicely in the next part we will see how we will implement the db scan using the escalon package on moon data set right if you guys have any question please comment below i will try to answer those things thank you